nine set pages of saves. Okay, so we, we're not at the... Okay, we're still in Wonderland Woods. This is the last... Are you fucking kidding me? I believe this is the last section of this part. Yeah, because we came through that hole, technically. That's where the caterpillar was. It's kind of cool that they put it down there. But, yeah. Jabberwock Slayer, Cave of the Oracle. That's just a refill. All right. Sorry, what are you? I don't remember you. I don't have. Hello. Are you fucking kidding me. Surprise Alice didn't just die. Like, has a tendency to just slide off shit and die horribly. Uh, I don't remember what that is. But I have to go from this angle to get it. Is she actually gonna jump and grab it? The Jabberwock's eye staff is incomparably powerful, but its individual pieces are worth less than the carcass of a gnat. Sorry, what? No, this is not the sequel. This is the this is the first original game. Which one is it? So this is supposed to. Oh, this is only pieces of it. Oh, because you're supposed to collect the, all the pieces, and we're supposed to get the eye from the Jabberwock, apparently. The sequel is M Alice Madness Returns. So this game was originally created in 2000 for the PC. Um, there was 11 years in between this game and Alice Madness Returns coming out, with Alice Madness Returns coming out in 2011, and when that came out, that's when they finally decided to port this digitally over to the consoles at the same time. So no console user got access to um, America Mickey's Alice until 11 years later. So I've owned this particular disc since it came out. I don't even remember if I got it the month it came out, but I, I remember getting it very shortly after it coming out. I had a friend that was very big into it, more so than I was. I was big enough into the look of it and I liked Alice in Wonderland in general. So, that's what I ended up doing. Yeah, Alice in Madness Returns is the sequel. Um, American McGee, from what I understand beforehand, I was originally saying that he befriended Romero. I think he actually befriended Carmack and originally worked for... I know he worked for id Software because he did some of the Doom levels. He also did levels in Quake. Um... He's apparently his levels that he did were ridiculously overly difficult. Um, I don't consider this game difficult, but I, di I consider certain aspects of it unnecessarily difficult. It's definitely not a perfect game by any means. Visual style, art style, the concept of it is great, but it definitely has a lot of flaws. One of its major things, as I've mentioned every single time I've been playing, which I actually forgot how bad it was until I started playing, was how floaty Alice is in movement-wise. Um, she has a tendency to uh, continue moving after you stop moving. Um, which works against you quite often. There's a lot of times where she, you will jump, you will hit a platform, and then she will slide ever so slightly, hit an edge, and then just continue sliding off, and then you'll die, even though you had initially hit it. Um, I have experienced that on multiple occasions already. Ah. I 
I don't know if I should be bothering with this. How is he still alive? Do you use a copy of Alice Madness Returns is expensive? You can get Alice Madness Returns on Steam. Unless you're looking for it for a console. Like, it's, it's freely available on Steam and goes on sale quite often. Like, if you're looking for a physical copy, eh. But Alice Madness Returns is from 2011. Again, this one's from 2000. But, um, I mean, depending on how well certain games were printed, yeah, they can end up being expensive. I think this one was printed decently-ish. It wasn't a super successful game. It did well enough. It wasn't a massive hit. Um, but then again, at the time period, during the 2000s, games didn't sell necessarily as well as they do now. I think I read on Wikipedia's article that this one sold something like 300,000 copies. Um, at least within the first year or the first few months or something, which at the time period was decent. Nowadays, it's considered a abysmal by most of the AAA companies. Um, but this did well enough at the time. It took them this so long to make a sequel. There's lots of uh, there's lots of reasons and problems behind it. Um, there's a lot of overall problems behind the Alice series in general. It's not as amazing as a lot of people would end up making it to be. It had a lot of problems. Some of it being the fact that it was supposed to have had a movie that was a tie-in that was supposed to have been made for it at some point. That ended up being a, a deal that was bounced around to multiple different companies that had the license for multiple different occasions and it kept on being sold and sold and sold. Scripts were written and thrown out to the side. Um, there was reported statements that at some point Sarah Michelle Geller ended up picking up the rights to the movie. Then at some point, America McGee himself ended up having the rights to the movie. Um, and last I think that was mentioned was he somehow lost the rights to the movie, still has the rights to an animated to an animated version of the movie. But for some reason, that whole thing, even though he had managed to raise money for it, fell off to the wayside and never gained traction anywhere. Um, whatever happened to it, I have no idea. Um, but I will say that his track record, when you start looking at everything he's involved in, isn't that hot. Um, he has a tendency to have a lot of, um, things that he was working on that he kept attaching. I don't know why he attaches his name to everything. He's not a super amazingly over-the-top, like creator or developer at all. Maybe he was trying to create a brand. Maybe he was just one of those types that was full of himself and trying to gain a name for himself, and this was the way he knew how to do it. Um, whatever the reason, doesn't really matter. It's just, America McGee's Alice was considered successful. Alice Madness Returns to was considered successful To destroy the palace enough. filled with malice is the daring work of noble Alice. An endgame with the Red Queen is possible only after you crush her sentinel, the vile, fiercelicious, and vengeful Jabberwock. Without the staff that bears his name, destroying him is the hopeless work of a wasted life. I have one piece of the eye staff. Where are the others? Scattered throughout the world, when you have them all in hand, checkmate is possible. The Pale Royals may be of you. Obscure allusions to chess are fine, but it troubles me that anonymous oracles know more of my business than I do. Of course. Um... But yeah, he, he did America Mickey's Alice, obviously, with the name attached to it. He did Alice Madness Returns 11 years later. He has, as far as I know, and I, I have, I've only done light research, um, and one other friend brought it up to my attention. He has one other game to his name. It's called America Mickey's Bad Day LA. Unless you, if you get offended easily, don't look it up. Um, it is, it is really bad. It is a, an absolutely horrible game, and that's not even considering the level of cringy racist jokes involved in it. Um, 
But yeah, his he had another game that a lot of people don't know unless you were following the game industry at the time period. After American McGee's Alice did well enough, he was trying to get American McGee's Oz off the ground. Um, Oz was supposed to have been obviously Dorothy's dark take in Wizarding World of or the the Wizard of Oz land, whatever. Um, you get the idea. It was basically supposed to be a dark take on it. It was mentioned in multiple gaming magazines. I remember even seeing concept art for the skeleton for the scarecrow at the time. It looked really fantastic. It never went anywhere beyond the concept art. It was mentioned a few times. It vanished off of statements, and then last anyone ended up hearing was the project was abandoned for unknown reasons. Probably something to do with this. Don't know. The original Food Fight script was stolen. The studio had to redo the film. I don't know what Food Fight is. Uh, what is this? He, um, basically, like, Alice is decent. It was one of his better successes out of anything that he has had that has put out that he's attached his name to. Um, beyond that, I can't say much for a very bad CGI movie. I don't know why that didn't have any bearing to do. Unless America McGee's involved with it or something, I have no idea why you mentioned that. It's like out of left field. <laughs> like, I don't know how the, what relation that has. There's also America McGee's Grim. I heard something about that. I don't know much about it. I had, like, like I said, I only did light research and I don't know anything about American McGee's Grimm. But I will say, like, he has a tendency to attach his name to things. He doesn't have anything, he didn't have anything going for him beyond Alice at the time when he created Alice. So, attaching his name to it, I don't know why the hell he would have done that other than, like I said, trying to create a brand name for himself. I'm like, to me, it just sounds a little overly full of yourself when you go into that route. Let's see. Majestic Maze, Pale Realm. Pale Realm. Realm. Pale Realm. Pale Realm. I don't remember what these guys do if I get close to them, so I'm trying not to. But yeah, I don't I don't know anything about Grimm. I know of it, I've heard of it, I've seen that it was a thing, and I keep forgetting it's a thing. Come here. There you go. So one croquet mallet oh god, that's just death. Al but I will say for this one, gra the Overall, especially for the time period, visuals are great. The way Alice controls is absolutely abysmal. It's 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 crap. <laughs> I remembered it being, um, I remembered her being floaty beforehand. I didn't remember it being this bad until I started replaying it. Um, and the more you end up watching it, if you haven't seen me play it previously, Since the more you'll see moves that. best play with white. They go first. Such Please don't mention other streamers. Such of chaos makes me woozy and disoriented. The regularity of the board disguises the predatory menace of certain pieces. Uh, we have a rule on the channel not to mention other streamers um, on the channel. Um, it's fine to talk about it if Isaac or myself bring it up, but in general we don't tend to. I knew this area was going to have little falls just from seeing it. Oh god, and I didn't save it. So we have to redo all of that. Might as well just kill him. Okay. Ugh. At 
least they dies. Well, that's what those do. Oh shit. Trying to switch to the ice wall. I didn't do it. I was, uh, I was getting into the habit yesterday of saving more often. I keep on forgetting. I mean, it's not horrible to get back to where I was. It's just having to get back there. Oh, God. And then times where she just does not land where she was before. She has a little jump assistance thing that I can use. It doesn't work as the well Jabberwock's as The Jabberwock's eye staff is incomparably powerful, but its individual pieces are worth less than piece. the carcass of a net. See, her, her foot steps right here, the white little thing. It tells me where she'll land, but it doesn't always show outside of a certain zone. So even though you'll jump over here and you'll land there, it won't show you. So it's kind of pointless a little bit, and I haven't been using it. I could just turn it off. There is an option to turn it. But otherwise, you can sit here and use... See, I can't even use it here, and I should be able to. There it is. If I... That? Okay, I'm done with that. I'm done with that bullshit. Um... Game options. Jump reticle. No more jump reticle. Fuck that. That's, that thing's horrible. Like, it didn't even work when I wanted it to there. I could bring it back, like, later on if needed. Stop it. Stop it. This is the wrong space to be in. <coughs> Doesn't matter. <coughs> At least I killed that one. Excuse me. Should have gotten more coffee while we were offline, and I didn't. Hi, Sajida. Hi, Siphon. I need to go down here. I like how dying completely threw me for a loop. I should just save it in front of the Pale Realm. Like, the entrance, just so I don't have to redo this part. Fucking hell. 
You already forgot, did I say I'll play the full sequel? I'm... I didn't say it, I said potentially, depending. I've never played it before, so I'd be going in blind. I don't know anything about it. I've stayed away from it because I was never sure if I wanted to ever play it. I've seen a little bit of it beforehand. I am aware of some of the issues from it from when I saw when it had first come out because I saw some of the reviews on it back in the day. I do know that the camera angle can be a problem and can cause you to miss jumps. I do know that platforming can be a little wonky with it. I mean, honestly, I'm not too surprised after this one because it is wonky in this palace, one. It's wonk more wonky in this one because of her exploding. of Noble Alice. I know that the... I know that with Madness Returns, it's the camera angle I think is more of a problem than the actual control scheme, but I don't fully know how accurate that is. As in, I don't know if there's any other thing that causes problems with it. I will say that just playing this, this game is a lot less polished than I remembered it being. And even I, and even then, I remembered it not being, like, super polished. Like, I do remember it having issues. I just don't remember it having the issues it currently has. Or the fact that sometimes, I swear to God, some of these moments that you get. So apparently American McGee was also known for some of the harder, more difficult levels in um, Doom and Quake. And that does sometimes show with the amount, with the design of just throwing some random crap at you in this one. Like, things you just don't expect. Constant enemies that just keep on coming around. I mean, at least you get a semi-decent amount of, like, stuff to refill yourself, and I don't feel like it's too incredibly difficult. But... I've seen gameplay of it, it looks good and interesting. I, I might give it a look. I think I would be really irritated, like... Uh, I'm gonna have to save in front of the Pale Realm. I, I'm not gonna actually say anything about, like... Madness Returns, because I don't really know anything beyond what I had originally read from the reviews back in the day. Like, I have heard that the camera angles can be wonky and can cause lots of problems with playing it. That's about it. Um, but after this one, again, I do not... I'm, I'm not surprised with any problems with platforming, because this one does not do platforming well either. It wants to do platforming, and it does not do it well. Okay, okay that's fine. I got that one. Like, this, er this area is a lot better than the river area that I went through. The river was just... Oh, uh, God, that was horrible. The, the river with that leaf was just made me want to scream in frustration sometimes. Alright. I'm gonna get this in the shot. I love the visuals in the game, though. Though the funny thing is the one the one visual that always stuck with me the most was one of the early levels. And we already went through that, I think, on the first day. I was actually surprised it was that early in. But it always, always stuck with me. It's the level where the door is flying through the air. And you watch as the door opens up and surrounds the entire level when you think it's just, like, coming towards you initially. It's just, there's some really good, like, visual design in this. Come here. Excuse you. Stop it. Ow. She did not change when I told her to change her weapons. She took a hit, and then she waited, and took a beat, and then she did it. I'm like, are you kidding? That's the problem with this. There are times when I, you will tell Alice to do something in this, and she will wait a little bit of Since a beat. you know the moves best play with white, they go first. Such order in the midst of chaos makes me woozy and disoriented. 
The regularity of the board disguises the predatory menace of certain pieces. Yeah, that's bullshit to come out of an, a cutscene for. But then again, that that I attribute more to the 2000s. There were definitely some like learning curves that were still being gone through. That guy has so much life. Okay. Oh, so there is something down there. I don't need it. But we're going that way. <clears throat> Are we going that way? But things like the targeting reticle vanished just now. No clue why, but it did. anything down there? It doesn't look like it. <clears throat> I mean, the game gives you weapons at all various stages of the game, so it's very possible there are certain weapon pieces that are hidden. So rather than I... So since even if I don't need to do this, let's try this. Out of curiosity. Curiouser and curiouser, says Alice as she runs to her death. <laughs> the Flipendo. <laughs> I got Flipendo in the Lego game, though. <laughs> I was in love with the fact that I got that. I was like, oh my god, they put Flipendo into Lego Harry Potter. <laughs> it was fu fucking fantastic. Sorry. Is that attributed to, like, was that always there? Is that the graphical issues of... <laughs> I can't tell. Excuse you. Where the fuck are you? The... The... Sometimes the croquet mallet's aim is fucking annoying. I need that back. And it should have hit, but collu con collision sometimes. There we go. Did that kill him? Probably. There might be a way to get up there from jumping over around there and going around. I'm not going to bother. I don't remember. Back in the day when I used to play these games, like, when I was younger and had a lot more free time, I'd take time exploring the hell out of areas sometimes. I wasn't very good at finding secrets, but sometimes I'd find something that wasn't easy to find. not remember this area, and yet somehow I have vague recollections of it. He's gonna kill me. Oh god. You can only- oh god, yeah, you can only move, like, the chest piece. I do remember this. 
vaguely. It's not bad. Sorry you've been AWOL. Don't ever be sorry that you're AWOL. Take time to for yourself. Always take time for yourself. You say the whole ooh Alice in Wonderland but dark and spooky trope has lost a lot of luster for you, but you think this game's doing pretty well in the story and visuals? Yeah, the story and visuals are definitely a highlight to me. I don't think the gameplay is anywhere near as praiseworthy as a lot of people seem to think it is. Um, but I do agree with you on a lot of that, Luna. I, I believe, one, Alice being dark and everything was never really an idea that anyone had when this game first was created. I think this started a lot of that concept for that, and it's kind of got annoying when everyone's all like, oh, but this children's story, but dark. I'm like, hey, yeah, whatever. It's like, it's, it's been done to death at this point, kind of. But at least when this was done, it was still relatively new, and it was a, a relatively original concept. Beyond that, the whole ending for the story was very new and its time period, because this does do the whole Wonderland doesn't exist, it's in her head. We didn't have that as a trope back then. So when it did happen, it was really, really cool. And it was really neat, because you didn't expect that. You went through this expecting that there was something going on within within Wonderland and what the hell was going on. Oh! Here, have a toy box. Got him. Pain in the ass getting him. Yeah, me, you mean a lot of the OG stories and fucked up stories? Yeah, Ali uh, Alice didn't really, though. I love the ideas of fairy tales and children's stories being transformed into something darker, but it's been overdone to the point of every time it's, it's done, it's half baked and she's. Yeah, I agree. There's definitely been a certain level of, um, charm that's lost to a lot of the idea and the concept just because it's been overdone. A lot of that does have to do with marketing departments being all like, but this is popular, we should do this. Um, is that the croquet mallet again? God, this game loves giving me the same weapon over and over. It's all like, did you get this last time? Like, yes. It's like, are you sure? Little Mermaid, she turned into seafoam. I do remember that. Yeah, the end of the original story. But you're talking about old fairy tales more than... Um, um, I mean, th not every single fairy tale was dark in that sense, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of like darker aspects to the fairy tales because they were supposed to have been morals behind them uh, in a lot of them as they were written. It was supposed to be all like, we need to tell, t we need it was supposed to be teaching children certain things. God damn it. Um,. But I do agree, there, there is sometimes. It's, it depends on how it's done. It's kind of like... It's kind of like the Lovecraftian genre. And I know that Luna went into this in one of her streams at one point. Is It's very easy for someone to take the Lovecraftian concept and slap it into a games, TV, or movie or anything. But doing it with a level of art form that gives it that feel and expression that creates a Lovecraftian story is very difficult and very few games or shows can pull it off because Lovecraft is all about not no being the fear of the unknown and that the closer you get to knowing anything about it the more crazy you get but games and media want to show you visuals all the time and so in the Lovecraftian sense when they insist on trying to show you that media why does it just spawn thing? Um, it kind of takes away a certain level of that Lovecraft experience. Um, it's all about how it's done. It's gonna like, save it. I'm gonna have to be... What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? What am I doing here? He's a rook. 
So, I didn't find how Beauty and the Beast was to help young women better accept their arranged marriages. Sounds beautiful. Sounds appropriate. Here, read this story. Accept the man that I have decided for you. Yes, yes. Was it? I've never actually heard if there was moral towards it. I don't even remember who originally wrote that one. I know that Grimm was Grimm was really big. Hans Christian Andersen was another big one. Um, the Brothers Grimm, I should say. Um, I don't even remember all the major like people from the old old fairy tales that were written. A lot of them are based on old myths and legends. Um, Alice in Wonderland was, I mean, straight up written by Lewis Carroll. So it was written by a writer and was meant to be whimsical. Um, there we go. This is where I need to go. There you go. So, and I think for the most part, this one does the story and the visuals well. And one of the things that I do enjoy about American Mickey's Alice is they very much stuck with the original dialogue as it was in the books. Um, and I think that was a good choice for them because it, it lent itself to a certain type of thematic. Just saw a beast and was like, yes, my husband. <laughs> you think the whole twisted fairy tale concept in media gets muddled by visuals alone instead of story? In more modern movies, they tend to just make an old story, slap some makeup on it without transforming the story around it into something that reflects the atmosphere of teaching the consumer the media lesson or portion of life, whatever that may be. I can agree with that. They, they, yeah, that tends to happen a lot. Um, I also feel like there's a lot of people who, that write stories these days, especially within media, are so concerned with becoming successful that they they try, oh god, this looks horrible. They try very hard to mimic what's already been done because that was already successful, rather than trying to come up with something new. Are you kidding me? Um, but I think a lot of media does that. I think there's a lot of stories that fall flatter than they should just due to lack of creativity and constantly reusing the same old tropes over and over and over. Are you a problem because you're white? No, you're a piece that I want to be. Why would I want to be a pawn? So I can become a queen. Right? Isn't that why you would want to be a pawn? What is this? Oh, that's the... problem because you're white. <laughs> no, it's because the red pieces are against us. The white pieces are our friends, essentially. Not our friends, but apparently Alice is supposed to be a white piece. It's <laughs> <So>, like, <laughs> but that's great. Um, I don't know how much I want to do this. Like, what's this going to do? Okay, that's going to open up the room the rook goes into. Alright. Essentially that's good, I guess. I could just jump over that. Hey. I think I have to find a way to get him in there. I just realized that what, what's below us is the room that I went into as a bishop.
I do vaguely remember liking this level quite a bit just because of its overall design. The fact that you have to play as a chess piece at times is really cool. And the fact that your your moveset is limited to the chess piece is just really awesome. Ha ha ha. Screw you. I keep, so if you're wondering what I'm doing, I keep switching between the croquet mallet, which its main attack is just hitting with it, but you can throw a ball as the second one. And I keep switching between that and the vorpal blade and throwing the blade because this blade, while it takes a while to come back, deals more damage long range than the mallet does. God damn it. Sometimes picking the right button for what's what five is the fucking... <sighs> this was prior to mouse wheels being common. So I don't think it's possible to do like a next weapon. Yeah, it doesn't recognize your mouse wheel. I don't need to save, but whatever. I remember, I think even at the time when this had come out, I didn't have a mouse with a wheel on it, so... It's when games started using the mouse wheel that I started making sure to get one with a mouse wheel with a wheel. But I also didn't replace my hardware unless it needed to be. this up here. He needs this. Might as well. Am I gonna play the second one? Everyone keeps on asking that. I probably will at this point. I've never played it before, so it'd be a first time. Um, depending on how this one comes off by the end of it, if this one leaves a bad taste in my mouth, which it, it's been on the verge of sometimes, I might take a little break in between. Um... But Alice's movement mechanic in this one, if you if you look at her, she slides a little bit when you're done walking with her. Like, just a little bit. That is fine when you're on areas like this, where it's flat. When you're on areas that are supposed to be more like ground that has, like, lumps and rises and rocks that supposed to you have to land on precisely to avoid falling, you will slide off and die more often than you can count. And it gets really frustratingly annoying because you know you hit that that you hit that landing properly. You know you should be fine, but you'll watch her just be all like land, stop, and then continue sliding and then fall off to her death. At least Alice doesn't live on concussions. Um, are you like referring to Harry, or what are you referring to? Because. I don't know how I handle her on this one, because she's not may not be living by concussions, but she's living on trauma alone. Oh, it's the night. Oh, Lara. <laughs> Lara does live on concussions. Well, I mean, 
Lara at least has an excuse because she's had so many concussions from just slamming into things, falling, smacking her head on things. This one, Alice literally is in her head due to traumatic experience over having her parents die in a fire basically in front of her. This is all in her fucking head. Does this game ever freak me out? No. Because I'm older than most of you. I turned 41 like a week ago. I was about 20-something when this game came out. It didn't freak me out. <laughs> like, I don't do well with scary games at all. This one, even, even this one wasn't scary to me. This one was, uh... Made mistakes. At least you fall in water. You can understand the gliding, but you think the second one is better made? Probably. Like, I haven't heard as many complaints about the, the gliding thing. So, I get the whole concept thematically why she's supposed to be lighter weight, but it does... I'm sorry, does she still drown even though she's been gifted? She just drowns less quickly? Is that what this is? That I was not aware of. I thought she permanently stay in there, but apparently not. Um, but it still doesn't work well. If that was if that was intentional for any reason, I don't think it necessarily was. Um, it still does not make for a good gameplay experience. Like, there's definitely problems with the fact that she floats slightly. And it's not the fact that, it's not that she floats, it's that she's floaty. It's just a descriptive term for how her movement mechanics feel. Which has been a known issue beforehand in the past with other people. I don't want to find out how to get out for just floating. Fuck it. No point. I'm over. Hi, Nikki. Like, I've even made mentions yesterday that I feel like they might have done it intentionally as part of her mechanic because then it explains how she floats in the air beyond the fact that Wonderland slash Through the Looking Glass doesn't matter. It's it's It still makes it for a very aggravating gameplay experience at times, just from her movement mechanics alone. It will. It makes for some frustrating aspects. I wouldn't call it a bad game as a result of it. It's definitely not a great game as a result of those mechanical problems. But it's still a. It's still a good game. Um, I think the story and visuals and overall like visual design saves a lot of it in that respect. But I do think that people tend to hype this game up. This game and Alice Madness returns way more than either of them probably deserves to be. Um, but I mean, I pulled it out of... It was one of the games I pulled out of my box as, uh, should I play... Like, what kind of older games can I end up playing on the stream? Because I was looking for games that I had played in the past or that I owned that a lot of people probably haven't seen. I'm pretty, like, I was pretty damn sure that a lot of people have seen Madness Returns. Pretty sure a lot of people have not seen the original that it was based off of, or that came first. Stop. Get on the ground. This reminds me of Heavy Metal Black 2, some kind of, same kind of gameplay play. I don't think I, I... I never played that. You know I wouldn't have played that. Game has an interesting concept. Do you like the look of it very different from its time frame, in your opinion? It is very different from the 
other games that were made at the time, it was very unique. And um, it's one of the things I liked about it back in the day. Like, I liked Alice in Wonderland as a story for the most part. It wasn't my favorite story, favorite childhood story, but it was a story that I liked. I liked the overall dark aspect of it. I liked what they were, like, considering. I liked the ending, which I was not expecting because it was not the type of ending that we saw much of at the time. There was a lot of things I really liked about it, but funny enough, when I go back into my memories, even after replaying it, the things that stick out to me the most about what I like about it are the visuals and the story. It's not the gameplay. Because I couldn't remember the gameplay until I started playing it again. You're very tired. I'm sorry. Downplay it. It's not that bad. Should play it. It's not that bad. No. I have so many other games I'm playing right now, though. Um, and the visuals alone, like daytime clouds and everything with black starlit's night sky, it's, which I think is really cool, these kind of visuals alone really make the game world, like, just stick in your head. Which door did I end up unlocking that I was barely paying attention to? Back in the days when they tried to always have good art design? Yeah, but there were lots of games that didn't have good art design, even if they, when they tried. I rem there was There were some bad games from back in the day as well. I have a few of them if I wanted to really try getting them running to, like, go through a cringe day of old games that were cringy. I'd have to search for them. Um, I had an RPG that was... that wanted to be, like, RPG Maker before RPG Maker was a thing. It was called Shattered Light. God, it's horrible. I bought it because it was inexpensive. I wanted a new game. Um... I like the idea that it was a fantasy world RPG. I like the idea that, um... I like the idea that you could customize the world and make your own world and make your own RPG. And then I got it and installed it and played it, and god, it was so fucking horrible. It was so bad. Kingdom Hearts? Why, why Kingdom Hearts? What do you mention Kingdom Hearts for? What am I going towards? Like, literally opened something up and I'm not even paying attention. Two worlds passed me by, but I think I had heard how bad that one was. What did I literally open up that I'm just not paying attention to? This is my other problem with the game, is while I'm talking, I tend to get so distract myself enough that um, I lose track of what the hell I was supposed to be doing. The fact that I remember to go to the Pale Realm after dealing with the Oracle surprises me. I had sci-fi here telling me what to do yesterday. Two Worlds was fun co-op, but so bad. Great games, PS mechanics was horrible, but never understood how Disney met Final Fantasy. There's a whole thing on that. No, I don't think it was them in an elevator. I think it was something else. I I skipped Kingdom Hearts. 
the time period when I was interested in it, I never got a chance to touch it. And by the time I was able to touch it, I already knew how messy the story got and I had no interest in dealing with it. Plus, I'm aware that it's a button masher. I know a lot of people like it, but button mashers after a while bug me. I tried playing the first one, I, I just, it didn't hold my attention like I wanted it to. Okay, I pushed that, and it did something somewhere. I'm gonna end up running around in circles if I don't just reload and just redo it. I'm really annoyed at myself for this. I need to pay attention. Yeah, I don't I don't do things like Game Pass. I like owning the games. It's the same as like with DVDs and movies and books. Like, I don't wanna borrow. I wanna own. Though I understand why people use it. Oh, how this one. They can really suck at it. Fucking kidding me. I, like, actually threw the knife at it, and it was all like, go through it? What now? What? Nothing. Alright. Your fiance paid for Game Pass, you prefer hard copies? Yeah. You know how, sad, like, I, w I remember, I grew up in the age where it was like, you had physical games, and we watched the Steam became a thing, and it took me, it, the only time, the only reason I ever picked up Steam was the point when I had, was finally confronted with a game that I wanted to play, that I was not allowed to ever get a physical copy for the PC. Motherfucking Skyrim. Like, the, if you bought a physical case copy at a store, it came with a goddamn Steam code on the inside. And I always, always opted for physical copies until that happened. That was when I finally gave in and I was like, fine, I'll give Steam a try. And then I was like, okay, fine, I guess Steam's okay. And then it's turned in over time to, I prefer things on Steam. Steam and GOG are my two. I, I do have, obviously I have Origin because I need Origin for certain things. And I do obviously have Ubisoft, but like, if I can get it on Steam or GOG, those are the two I get it on. If I can't have to get it on one of those other two, I will. But any other major store? Mm -mm. Nope. And I don't like Epic's uh, business practices, so I will not touch Epic. I have an Epic account from back when Fortnite was first released. You know, when it was a tower defense zombie game. And not what it turned into. Granted, it's more successful as it is now, but that's... I would not have ever have gotten it if that's what it was. Um, we thought it was going to be a cool tower defense as and I could play, so we both own it. But we have never touched it since then. Um, that's the only reason we have Epic accounts, but, like, I, I will never ever buy from the Epic store. Never. Like, I have seen Epic exclusives and I will opt to wait for them, or I just shrug my shoulders and say either I find another way to own it, or I just will never own it. I just don't like their business practice. Your Steam Origin person. I think a lot of people are only Origin just because of, like, Sims content in general. Doesn't matter which Sims you have. Okay, so the wheel starts. Was that even moving last time I did that? I could just jump down into the water. Oh, 
Oh, I see it. I think I see it. That was the last save, which was a work doing it, sort of. Steam is really good deal. Yeah, I love the Steam deals. Um. Fucking kidding me. Oh, she didn't actually take damage, though. Tiger and Bodhi. Tiger is a coma somewhere. Bodhi is... Actually, Bodhi's not in here. Neither Tiger nor Bodhi are in here, which means they're probably both with Izzik. Or one of them's in the bedroom and the other one's with Izzik. Bodhi tends to stick with Izzik while he's working. He'll, like, there's a, there's a little storage bin that has some blankets and a pillow in it. He'll, uh, curl up in there. And if he's awake and he, if I come in, he'll, like, twist over on his back and make a perlicky sound and stretch the man love. I don't understand what I'm doing on this part. Water wheel turned on. Okay. I went under the water wheel. There's just a healing item there. Unless I just I missed something from under there? at times with certain ones. No. It's its level design was not as cumbersome as this. Let's go and check under the water. If it if I can't find something, I'm searching online. I have to do it through my phone, otherwise I fork the game and I'd have to restart it. But the only thing I can think of is like Alice Water Wheel. Alice's mental problems are stronger now. Basically. Maybe this just increased the water? Maybe that's what it did? Oh, I think so. I think it's supposed to have just raised the water level. That's a horrible indication of that. I'm sorry. Excuse you? Either that or this has always been like this. Finding a guide right now as well. Um. As, I mean, we've apparently found our way through it. Yeah, we're in Looking Glass land. We are officially further in. And all the white pieces are dead. Those are supposed to be our peeps. I mean... But we're not going after the... We're going after the Queen of Hearts, not the Red Queen, isn't it? They thought. Unless they're supposed to be one and the same. I don't remember what it's supposed to be. I know what she is overall. There we go. Hello, guys. Oh, there's the White Queen. 
Let's crack them lack and <laughs> Have we done any good Thanksgiving cooking yet? No. I'm ending the stream a little early today to start doing some Thanksgiving co uh, cooking, though, definitely. Um, I don't know the exact time I want to end it at, but I'm thinking more along the lines of, like, hour maximum. Is it the Red Queen, the Queen of Hearts? Um, there's two different aspects of it. So the club, if I remember, the club suit, the, the card suits for the queens exist within Alice in Wonderland. The chess pieces exist within Through the Looking Glass. And typically there was a red queen and a white queen. Instead of white and black pieces, it was white and red. Um, so the Red Queen typically refers, I don't need to say it, Red Queen typically refers to the, uh, red chess piece, whereas the Queen of Hearts refers to the, the actual heart suit from the cards, obviously. Um, I'm assuming we're going after her. She's this way. She was this way. Looks like a horrible way to go. You're not for the US, but have a fantastic Thanksgiving. I'm looking forward to a good one. The cooking's always a little stressful because I always feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like timing-wise, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Hey guys, want that? You'll probably all die from it, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Sure. I saved you. I saved you. So hard to, hard to time everything, especially only one oven. I did a really good job with it last year. Oh, look. I think that's Lewis Carroll. That's the White Rabbit. That was the original artwork for it. <laughs> you can summon Cheshire whenever. Only the foolish believe suffering is just wages for being different. The other thing is, like, you're supposed to be able to summon Cheshire Cat if you have any questions. Unfortunately, sometimes, like that thing he just said, he has no, no, no advice for the level, and so that's his advice, which is just basics, just empty, whatever. Raise your dots. <laughs> Oh, this goes up and that went down. I'm sorry. Ding dots. Oh god, this rook. Hello. <laughs> I hit him. Oh God! You didn't send a leak. If you put a dot on accident or whatever from between two words, it'll still think it's a link. That's how it determines whether something may or may not be a link. Or yeah, if you miss a space after a period. A lot of people have done it on accident. Why does it jump so far?
gives me. Gives me. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, you're autocorrect, Tam. That's another thing that's done it for people. That's the first room. Oh, this is the... This is the first room I went down. That's why I had nothing in it. Start at 12. We at 7.30 p.m. for Christmas last year. Oh, you ate at 7.30 p.m. <laughs> oh, dear God. Why did it take so long? The thing that takes the longest for me to do is the turkey, obviously. But the turkey only takes, takes like... I have to reread it, but it's like three hours, maybe? Two and a half? <gasps> Death Body, thank you for the gift to send to Shadow Weaver. It's really sweet. <laughs> Shadow Weaver, enjoy your gifted sub. Along with all these. I just obviously go the wrong way. <coughs> Multiple times over. Have I been? I don't think I've been this way. Wait, is this the same room? Essentially. Why is your fit head disappearing slightly? Seeing inside of your head. Nope, nope, nope. And this? the White King. See that gemstone on his back. Help us, please. The Red Queen's forces are strong and show no mercy. Our own queen is in terrible danger. I saw her captured. I'm sorry. Without her generalship, Red Winds were doomed. As am I if I can't pass through this realm. I must collect the pieces to the Jabberwock's eye staff. Free the White Queen, Alice. That would help us both. I'm not really a player. What are the rules? Rules? There are no rules. There's barely any strategy. No time. Make a frontal assault on the Red Castle. I won't lie to you. You'll meet deadly traps and fierce opposition along the way. Ready. Should I be grateful for the truth? A lie or two might have been more persuasive. In war, truth first. There's always time for lies later. You won't face the enemy alone. Carry this soldier to the White Queen. Just him. A mere pawn is the best I can hope for? I'm afraid so. Now return as you came. The rooks know the way. So, wherever the red castle is, that's where we need to go. How? Only the insane equate pain with success. Oh, I think I know where to go. I think we have to go all the way back out to where we found the first piece of the Jabberwock staff. Excuse you. Uh, which way do I go? Which way am I going? Does this count as the way out? 
Freaking hell. Does anyone want to tell me which way? There is some red ones up above. Right there. Why? Hold on. What about that giant painting? About this thing, right? Yeah. Nothing. No. Did I just not kill everything in here? I think it just didn't kill everything in here. could have shown me this earlier just like they didn't exactly show that direction so not exactly saw I didn't exactly see that <sighs> so same basic area but in red and white this time God. Die. The water red, too. Red ish. Or at least the stuff under it is red. Ow. She's stuck. She's stuck. That was not very good. Eh, whatever. Life is healed. You have Dairy Queen? Oh my god. Hi, Quizzy. How are you? Oh, I noticed the wheel is turning in the opposite direction. Yeah, and the water's not as high. So that is what happened when we pulled that switch. It turned the water up. No? Double doors only? Ow, I'm sorry. God damn it. Oh god. Horrible menace. Says the girl who throws a knife at its head. When he's all like, I'm defending my home. She's all like, murder. <laughs> I will say the visual uh, appeal of Alice just being her pale self with the blue skirt and the white apron on this red and white and with strong red motif it looks good visually it's very pleasing that I have to go into the water. Alright, I might have to go in the water. Yeah. 
I mean, the only other door I haven't tried is that one, but I don't see that leading to anything. This is bubbles. Oh, look at that. Imagine if we hadn't found out how to climb up. <laughs> You missed the last two days when I was streaming this. I had a lot of problems initially figuring out how to climb up things because it's not readily apparent in the instructions, which I was looking at because I have the actual physical instructions in front of me. And the button for climbing up is the same button as use item, but there is an individual button for climbing down, and only for climbing down. So, of course, when I was looking for the button for how to climb up, I was looking for the individual button for how to climb up. And when I was going through the command list, I got climb down, use item. <laughs> and then there's a bun this parentheses with information afterwards, which I kind of glossed over because it was all like, Use item, pull lever, blah, 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 hit switch, and then at the very end it says, or climb up. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I vaguely, I must have had the problem with that in the past as well. Because it sounds like something I would have had problems with in the past. <laughs> there is no autosave, so we manually. We try to manually save regularly. Try to. Swear to God, if I come across enough. Oh. Oh, she's not doing well. Do I have a time limit? No. Why do those always just fucking fail? Like, the demon dice are supposed to. Supposed to. I think every time you pick up the same weapon, it makes it stronger, potentially, because I have three dice now as opposed to two. And there's a few times I did not pick up this croquet mallet. But now I'm sad. Oh well. I've been doing fine with it still. Demon dice did nothing. I'm not using them. I thought I would try it. Yeah, Sora, this game's mechanics haven't aged very well. It hasn't aged. It wasn't. They weren't that great even back at the day. In back in the day, like it's just that no one really remembers it whenever they talk about it because what everyone remembers is the visual, the visual art style, and the story. And those two are pretty damn well done. The game mechanics are not great. 
um, I, re I do vaguely remember hating the demon dice, like not wanting to ever use them. Because they're supposed to summon a demon that's supposed to end up helping you fight. You just saw how long it takes that when it's successful for it to summon a demon, if there are no enemies around you, when you summon them, it'll go after you. Normally it does. And he's stuck. I'm assuming that's a boss and you can't go past it. By the way, you can't use the demon dice during a boss. They just fizzle all the time. could essentially do this. Yeah, the boss fights are not imaginative at all. They're really not good. Like, that's essentially what I've done for every single boss for the most part. Oh yeah, because you make a new queen. That's why he gave you a pawn. Queen was overpowered the last time. Oh, Mad Hatter. Oh no. I like his animation to hit her, and then she just saw like, oh, her little fainting pose. Like the idea of why you have the pawn was a good idea. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Look straight ahead or askance, whichever way you choose, you must always look in the right direction.
I don't really want this. I don't know why I would take it. So let's do... There's no point, because I just reload there. One, one of the elements of this that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. pick up that stuff again or no? Ow. It's a homing beacon? Done Sunday time, what? Oh my god, the, the mirrors. This place, Isaac would not be able to play this game just from the, the amount of like visual things that end up changing. It would just bug him. Like, I, 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 ha I actually don't know how much he would get sick by it just because older game mechanics he might not. But I mean, the game mechanics alone he probably would have quit on before then. You get that again? No. Well, so I don't know why I'm going after that heart. I don't need it. that does so much. Got a brownie and ice cream said, ooh. You wish you had anything to do Thanksgiving Day, but he worked a double. Ugh. 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 I've had a job before where I had to work the holidays. I hated it. Fucking hated it. It's when I, back when I worked in a hotel. Excuse you. Yeah. That's why I was only throwing my knife. Like, fuck you. I've dealt with you before. too hard to stay alive in this. You just need to not be a target. That's a horrible way to put that. How would you recommend that players stay alive in these games? Well, don't be a target. Oh, that seems to work well enough.
in the hell. Fucking hell. Isaac wanted me to buy a, a pre-made pie crust. Blasphemy is all I have to say. Blasphemy. I've also noticed pre-made pie crusts aren't as big as, like, pie crust if I make it. <laughs> Good night, Shadow Weaver. This level is just constant just being attacked. Probably the most use I've gotten out of the jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern? The jack in the box. It's jack o lantern. What the fuck am I on? God damn it. Like, so the chest level, I do remember fondly after having gone through it. I mean, aside from the boss, which was bland. I mean, honestly, all the boss battles are relatively bland. Um,. To me, I'm not, I was never a big, big, big action gamer person. I always kind of felt like I sucked at them. So the boss battles being not great didn't phase me back in the day because I felt like I could actually beat it because I could. Jacks. This simple game can turn distinctly nasty. Don't ever play alone. That's better. Definitely bought a frozen Marie Calendar spot. <laughs> I mean, I got the recipe for my mom's pumpkin pie a long time ago. I posted it in the Discord. Um, it's basically Libby's pumpkin pie recipe, but um, a bunch of extra, some extra eggs, eggs added in to firm up the custard more, and um, a lot. It's like two to three times the amount of spices that you would normally put into a pumpkin pie. It makes a very spiced pumpkin pie, and I really, really, really have always loved that one. I don't know what the alternative for this is, so we'll try that in a second. Here we go. Alternative. I don't like the alternative. This works better in an enclosed place. I have a feeling out in the open this would not work well. Yeah, it definitely doesn't take as much as like the ice wand or anything else just to kill. There you go. I like the visuals and the concepts of all of her weapons being toys. I thought that was always a really cool idea. It'd be great to do if you could cook anything to save your life. That, and if you had any money to buy anything. I mean, that helps. Like, we, ma we made an agreement with his family as I would do Thanksgiving this year, and, um... They would do, uh... Oh my god, they hit each other. They would do uh, Christmas. Which honestly is kind of what we did last year. I think his stepmom likes not having to cook for all of the holidays. And honestly, while I enjoy her stuff that she does do for Thanksgiving, she doesn't make a whole lot of food. So there's not a lot left over. Because she's not very big on leftovers or something. I don't know. But I like Thanksgiving leftovers, so I like 
doing it. So I'm I'm very much preferring doing it. Don't Oh no. Please don't. Am I supposed to do that? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> and there's the slide. She landed perfectly fine on the cogwheel, immediately slides off of it. Because her movement. That's what Alice does. I don't know if I'm supposed to break these clocks or not. I'm actually a little lost. You do not like the Jax game. are the one of most uh, efficient weapons in this game. At least in this enclosed space they are. I don't know how they are out in the open. Bye, Quizzy. Finish the dry bone. Yeah, definitely finish that. Um, Alright. So this is our save point so that we have some orientation on ourselves. Let's go this way. I'm looking... I'm wondering if I have to break the clocks in those things. It's nothing. Paths that end in trouble are all the same. They only appear different when you don't know where they lead. Sorry, what? Like this one? off the target's head on their own, so they're still great. Okay. I remember using the croquet mallet a lot. I don't remember the jacks. Like, I saw them in the instructions. I was like, oh, there's jacks. I don't remember them. There we go. Oh. I think it's because I destroyed that clock? Maybe? I do not like that, and I think that's a graphic glitch. You, all the way at the end. You know, fuck you.
God, that's horrible. So throw the jacks, use another weapon. That is a viable strategy. That. I don't know if I need to destroy clocks or if that's just something I'm thinking of. Both of you. God damn it. I found the guys game does a very good job of selling Wonderland's disarranged nature. It doesn't, yeah, it's, like I've mentioned, it's like the visuals, the visuals are really, really good. I don't know if I need to destroy that, but... Damn it. Oh, that was the last place I saved up. Well then. I love the Boojum. Especially when you make her jump and she just becomes as light as a piece of paper in the wind. The fact that any enemy that hits her sends her, like, I can understand the whole her, like, being sent reeling because she's supposed to be light and thin and small is fine, but throwing her basically clear across the map to her instant death any time she gets hit while in the air is fucking stupid. That was pretty smart. See how smart I am? The smarts. <laughs> I want to see if uh, destroying the clock did anything. Didn't look like it. I will save, don't worry. Not going in here, not yet. Reason being, there's the other side. What's with the other side? What's the deal over there? Is this a mirror image? 
That is not a mirror image. There's two right there. Why did that miss? Are these supposed to be mirror images? <clears throat> or not quite, because uh, they kind of are, but not really. There's enough variation for you to be able to tell they're not. It's not leading to the same area, because uh, the other ones over that way. Hey! Sorry, did you fly through the wall? <laughs> I'm taking this side. Reason being, we dealt with two of them already. Dane syringe spiders, man. Oh, the third game doesn't get hit with so much more. Third game will. <laughs> He's apparently all, like been quote unquote working on the third game after Kickstarter for many many years, and all he has is Alice concept art. I don't have much hope for a third game coming out. Also, I'm as good as dead right here. He has not been very successful on actually executing things unless there's a large label behind him. EA was behind him for both Alice for both Alice games. He doesn't have EA behind him for the third one. And unfortunately his track record has not been very good. It's only been like one or two. It's still all we've got is concept art. Other people have had a lot more after one or two. Like, I will wait and see if anything ends up happening. I don't have much hope for it. Stop it. I hit it just now. <laughs> yeah, I see that one up there, but it's like, is there any reason to do that for a health item? Eh. Eh. I'm gonna save here though. 
I have a feeling my goal is that door. That's why I say that. In blue jumps. I like how the cards are supposed to auto, like, just target, and it fucking went off into that side. Stop it. Get over here. Just in case. Cards can kind of, yeah, I know this card sucked. I've been noticing the cards suck in general. They're okay against the boo jumps, but in general I don't much like them. Come here. Are you outside? Oh, whatever. Are you stuck? I feel like you're stuck. <coughs> oh well, goodbye. God. Gonna get the correct uptime. We had to go down because uh, it's a lost uh, wireless. So I had to shut off the internet briefly to come back to this. We've been playing this for two hours and 38 seconds. Um, prior to that, we did The Sims 2 earlier this morning and then we did Harry Potter, Lego Harry Potter. I don't know why I'm saving. What's the point? Actually, what's the point? All right. That is the first thing. No, because this is where you would come in if I went from that side to that side. Excuse you. Stop it. It has to be up. I swear to God, if I have another bougie. the other side. Fucking annoying. I have a feeling... Actually, I, I, I feel like you're not supposed to have to go to either... to both sides, but... we'll find out. And that or something didn't trigger? That doesn't make sense. I haven't had any problems with bugs on, or something's not triggering. Saying it's not a likelihood. Although things not moving like they should.
Oh, see, that one has the devil thing on the top. No, I didn't think it was a bug. Because that one has that devil thing up there. And I could try going through that door. Save here. what happens. Ah. Fucking kidding me? Get over here. Get over here. I have to come back out here and deal with you. Are you fucking kidding me? There's another one? Why are there so many of them? Fucking assholes. Whatever. Close enough. Welcome back, Morning Rainbows. Every adventure requires a first step. Try to put true even here. God, your advice is worthless at times. It's just his standard old crap. So the only thing I can think of is that maybe I was supposed to destroy the clocks in every single room, and I didn't. Because when you come up here, that clock's destroyed. Unless you're supposed to jump on here somewhere. Well, in case, that's the, in case that's true, let's go back and do that. I don't have a hard time doing that. You're broken. Broken. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I did want to see if this was what you had to do, that's why I didn't do it. It is one of the pieces of the environment that's destructible. Out of everything in this game, it's one of the few things that's destructible. So at least I ended up learning that I was correct on that one. Da, da, da. You need to defrost your turkey. Wait, have you not done that yet? I mean, the only way I really know how to defrost a turkey is fridge defrosting. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do it, but I defrost mine and I prep it 
My, I knew what ours was defrosted by Sunday, and I prepped it Monday. It's sitting in the fridge still. Uh, I don't need to. I don't need to save. <sighs> Sorry, what? I'm irritated. So, she does have a bug that occurs at times where if I'm pressing A, to, if I'm pressing in a direction to move after I come out of the menu, and this has happened more than once, I've noticed. What the flying fuck? Unless it's this. I think it's this thing. I didn't either. I've had a bug before where if I'm pressing in one direction, she'll end up going in the opposite direction. That's what I thought I was experiencing. I'm not experiencing that, as it turns out. It'll be fine. This hottest house is hell. It'll be unfrozen soon. Dear God. Better be careful. I'm sorry. Did you fucking move just as I threw that? I see what I have to do. Okay. Going across to the other side is uh, suicide, because that's just the other way that I could have come in. I have to go this way. Hitting into the liquid is kills us. Are you fucking kidding me? some innocuous thing that I can just shoot exploding miss uh fists at Alice all the way at the other side.
I don't know if I can aim for the Drax from here. I could try, but... I mean, either way, the Jacks have to hit a few times, but I'll try it. No? No. You cannot. the leaves how things continue moving while she's still animating right there the object's animation does not time with Alice Alice stops and continues her flow of animation and if the object she's trying to climb onto or stand on has moved out from under her or away from her she just falls the alt fire of the of these Maybe? I don't think it's hitting. Oh, it did. But now he's just in the water. Dying? I think he's dying in the water. Yeah. I can live with that. It's fucking stupid. The only reason that worked was because we pushed him off. Oh boy, Tweedledee and Tweedledum with no ammo. Look, Dum, it's what's the name from the neurotics ward? Nurse's favorite lunatic. Oh yeah? Scrawny, ain't she? Who let her out then? They'll blame us most like. She'll need more medicine. Strong medicine. She got anything to eat? Doubt it. She never finishes the grub at the asylum. If she had any meat on her, she'd make a delectable dish. Despicable, grotesque, and smelly louts. I'll fill your bellies, all right. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Spare me the platitude. Do you have any useful advice? Use their size against them. Something of those.
Come on, get out. Just trying. Hmm. Oh, use their size against them. Here. guys fall onto each other. I only take mine with friends. Count me to be among them. Accurately. I mean, honestly, that's the truth. Oh, I quite forgot. You and the truth are not on familiar terms. And you would know. Truth is always bitter to those who fear it. I fear nothing. Fault! You fear much. A return trip to the asylum, for example. The memories that drove you there. More years in, shall we say, supervised hospitalization? Ah, yes, you fear much. Of course, all that might be avoided. How? Tell me, what do you mean? Is there a Boojum just flying out there? Just straight up? Praise clockwork. All right. Yeah, the, the crazy repeating music was driving me a little insane, too. I thought Tweedledee and Tweedledum were going to be a more interesting boss fight than what they actually were. They weren't that interesting. It seemed like you just had to keep on fighting them until... There might have been a mechanic in there that you could do, but basically just fight them until they're all gone. And it seems like the more you kill the little ones, the more the big ones give them themselves to make more little ones. And that's basically just a bit. Basically, just throw your weapons everywhere. That's what all I did. I was running around circles grabbing the health slash ammo things and just 
attacking willy nilly and that's all I needed to do. That being said, um, I think I'm going to end up calling it for today because I want to work on Thanksgiving dinner, which involves a pie. Thank you guys for being here. It's been great. I would love having you guys at all times. Um, I'm having a hard time being able to do anything, which means we're going to have to actually close out of the game. Um, we are going to send you off somewhere else. Um, Isaac is going to be streaming tomorrow early in the morning until the afternoon. Uh, other than that, Friday I will be streaming, but I'm not going to be doing an early morning to afternoon stream. I will just be doing an afternoon stream. That's my current plan because I want some time to rest after spending all this other time doing everything. So I'm going to send you guys off. Why don't you show some love to Euros Down? He's playing Chrono Trigger. Have a wonderful time. Thank you for coming. And I hope to see you guys again. Goodbye.